Residents of the Highland Park neighborhood walk past this now abandoned Bank of America every day, and community leaders are hoping to transform this space into an affordable and accessible health hub. Just one simple spray up an individual's nose can reverse the effects of an opioid overdose and save a life. And one worker told me that the final result will be flowers enclosing this space to bring a new look. This produce is donated to the Ramp Pantry and to other community partners who are facing food insecurity. Now, Virginia is not the only state to implement these bans. 26 other states have banned TikTok. Congresswoman Abigail Spamberger just won re-election for the third time. During her victory speech, she thanked her Republican opponent, Gessely Vega, for the hard work she put into her campaign. And Spamberger says she is ready to serve Virginians and serve her constituents. You can also request an absentee ballot now until October 28th. And I'm Natalie Barr, and this is VCU Insight. Now, a historic moment here in Virginia's 4th Congressional District. And though Ukraine is about 5,000 miles from Richmond, Virginia, there is an outpouring of community support for the Ukrainian people. Many school districts have safety measures in place to keep students, staff, and teachers safer when they come onto school property. Now, during her speech, McClellan reflected on what this moment means for women and for the black community. Instead, she is ready to follow in the footsteps of her friend and former Congressman Donald McEachin and to represent Virginia. <laughs> Jennifer McClellan is known as an advocate for clean energy and reproductive and voting rights. She is committed to bringing that same energy and leadership into Washington. We've done a lot of good here in Richmond, in the State House. All of that work needs to be done in Washington. McClellan has been in politics for 18 years. She debuted as a delegate in 2009. She took time in her winning speech to reflect on the people in her life who contributed to her success and those who paved the way for her. You helped us make history. She stated the importance government has in solving problems and helping people. She plans to reach across the aisle to deliver on that promise. McClellan won the district by almost 75% of the votes. According to Virginia Department of Elections, she only lost in Prince George County in Colonial Heights. She faced Republican opponent Leon Benjamin. Benjamin has been vying to represent the 4th District since 2020. He released a concession statement saying he is saddened by the results, but he will continue to fight to bring conservative values to the district. Now McClellan will finish out her term in this year's session, and then her seat will become open in next year's election cycle. Reporting from Richmond for CBS 6, I'm Natalie Barr. Colette Morin is no stranger when it comes to supporting the pro-life movement. Well, ever since I was a teenager, I've been involved with uh, this movement. Morin says the laws Virginia Democrats are trying to pass during this session are the most extreme. We've gone from, you know, uh, safe and rare to abortion, basically abortion on demand. Anytime. She believes the debate for abortion rights between legislators should stay at the state level and not for the federal government to decide. There are better answers. Women deserve better than abortion. Now, both Governor Glenn Youngkin and Attorney General Jason Miaris were in attendance, and the governor said the voters elected a pro-life governor, and those are the laws that he is committed to bring to our state. Even after a proposed constitutional amendment for reproductive rights, Senate Democrats attempted to change House rules to allow the amendment to be passed anyway saying based on data, more Virginians want more abortion protections than they do less. I'm first of all incredibly disappointed in the, in the Senate Democrats. Students for pro-life America movement pride themselves as the post-Roe generation, electing leaders who are in line with their pro-life mission. Teresa Santa Familia is among many of the young people involved in the organization. 
definitely hoping that the governor will be inspired by seeing this and see that the the youth of Virginia really support uh, the pro-life position and wanting to help pre-born Virginians. That's very, very important. Santa Familia feels Virginia should go a step further for protection at conception laws, and for this to happen, support for such laws need to be heard every day. The work doesn't end there, it just begins there. And so, um, very thankful for all the people that have come out here, but we urge them to go out into their communities and really uh, affect change. Reporting from Virginia State Capitol for VCU Insight, I'm Natalie Barr. You will not find quiet, calm music, or hardwood floors at this yoga studio. It's inside a renovated barn, the floor is hay, and filled with goats running around, even jumping on attendees' backs. First-time goat yoga attendees Lee and Charles found calmness while in Warrior One and surrounded by goats of all sizes. Took you away from maybe what kind of stress that you might have. You know, yes. a lot of people do yoga to kind of decompress, and, and that was awesome. So Owners here at Goat Yoga RVA did not expect to find such joy and love through these goats, and they wanted to bring that same joy and love to the community. When yoga instructor LeVar Carter heard about the opportunity to teach at Goat Yoga RVA, he thought it would be perfect as it combines two things he loves, goats and yoga. The goats are their own little creatures, their own little beings, and they have their own agenda, which is to have fun and just cause chaos, you know. So it's, a, it's a, quite a contrast to the sort of normal sort of serenity and focus of a, of, a, of a usual yoga class. The emotional healing through animal interaction is still present during class. Carter encourages people to step out of their comfort zone. I think it's great when people get out of the city and, you know, hang out with other people and hang out with animals and have new experiences. And so uh, I think that is all part of, of the magic of, of the yoga yoga experience. <laughs> For those who might be scared, they will not be good at yoga. Perlis says to erase your mind of what you think yoga is and take this class. Reporting from Pactamir Farm for VCU Insight, I'm Natalie Barr.